Right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to a push session. But before we did that, two things. It's currently Monday the 14th, the day after Olympia weekend. So I wanted to start this video by saying, Samson Dowder, you are an absolute hero. I could not be happier that he won the Olympia. So deserved. You know, the guy's journey is phenomenal. And uh, to see him come out on top, I think everyone in the UK is over the moon for him. Uh, such a humble guy, such a nice guy. And Marlena, his wife, let's not forget the amount of effort that woman has put in to not only this prep, but supporting him for the years. I've been fortunate to know them for a while. Not closely, but I know the commitment and the love, the passion and everything they share for the sport. And it's so great to see him come out on top. He's gonna to be a fantastic ambassador. So I wanted to start the video by saying well done, Samson. And not forgetting the second Olympia title that's coming back to the UK, Ryan Terry, again, physique, second time now, two-time champ. What an achievement. That is not an easy class, the amount of guys on stage to come out on top two times in a row. And again, his trajectory slowly building up through the ranks over the last like 12 Olympias or something crazy like that. Phenomenal. So, you know, to say I'm inspired and motivated and admire the hell out of those is, is an understatement so let's start with that uk bodybuilding is in the great place um so now i've completely lost my train of thought push and training so you'll see the push session coming up just to kind of run through my training post prep um so i've dropped down to four training sessions they look like day one chest focus push that's today uh back and biceps shoulder focus push and a leg day um, so one less training day, reason for that is more recovery, more time for work and that is all part and parcel of kind of what I want to do moving forwards. It also means that I can really hone in and focus on these sessions. These sessions are shorter, they are lower volume and they are really sort of focused towards kind of progression and enjoyment and you'll hopefully see that in, in the coming session. Um, outside of that, cardio wise, I am doing 20 minutes on the bike. Um, four times a week, <clears throat> followed by an 800 meter row. I now have a rower at home. So I do row, I'm doing a distance just so that I'm consistent and kind of build that up. It's not terribly long. I think 800 meters takes me about three and a bit minutes, but I know about it. My God, do I know about it. I do that after the row. I then do an ab circuit. No, I then do some stretching. I then do an ab circuit. So that's kind of the morning routine, four mornings a week. Wednesday, which is a rest day, I do a hit cardio session on the bike. And Saturday, which is also a rest day, I do a longer cardio session on the bike. And when I say longer, that's at a minute, sitting around 30 minutes, but I plan on kind of building that as I build my own endurance. Um, again, abs after at least five of the sessions, if not six, mobility after every single one. Um, and that pretty much is where my training is at for the time being. Um, yeah, like a little bit more focus on the fitness side of things. Um, and I'm enjoying that sort of challenge. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give you a real brief rundown of where I'm at training wise. We'll now get into the session. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do it. Right guys, so about to get started with the session, but I just thought, obviously, just see me do a bit of mobility work there. That stays the same, you know, I, I want to be, feel good in my joints and I've got to be honest, at this point, post prep, my body feels, touch wood, really, really good. I still feel, or I feel I've got kind of feeling really fresh pretty much straight away. Um, obviously I'm being sensible training as you'll see through today's session. Um, but yeah, that will stay in. If anything, I'm doing a bit more. I'm doing a bit more in the morning because I've got uh, a couple of bits at home. Uh, in the garage that can help me do a few more uh, different stretches. So yeah, that continues to be a priority, but we're going to get into the session in a minute. However, first of all, it is new logbook day. I still logbook my sessions. I like tracking these things and moving forwards, strength does want to be or is a bit of more of a priority for me. More just for fun, if I'm honest, like that's what training is about. I'm, I'm enjoying training and I plan to continue to enjoy training. But with a new logbook, comes the inaugural or whatever we'd call it phrase so obviously in the last logbook through prep i deserve to be here what should we have in this one 
I've been racking my brains. It's a bit of a tough one. So I'm putting out to you guys, hit the comments, let me know what I should write in my logbook as a sort of daily affirmation. So I've got a few ideas, but I'd be interested to get yours before committing to something. And then we can put it in here every single session, daily affirmations. Let's get into it. Still doing a little bit of abs. At the minute, I'm just doing one set to failure. When I say failure, it's actually grip failure because I'm not using any straps. So again, just little things like smaller links in the chain, I suppose, that are less important to bodybuilding, but why not work on my grip? There's a little side, side quest and it's quite a good thing there. My body weight, which is, you know, not light. Do my hanging knee raises, grip the fuck out of the bar, see how many I can get and aim to progress it. So as I said at the beginning of this video, the main like change at the minute is like low volume. Volume's a lot, a lot less per exercise. There are less exercises per session, but I will focus on getting the most I can out of it so I can really progress over time uh, in terms of weight lifted and if needed volume. But some things never change. Start with a pec deck, drive the blood into the chest, feel good there, get warmed up for the pressing. I'm really enjoying this elbow drive, having my elbows there. The connection is fantastic. It's super locked in, super comfortable. Um, yeah, I can get away with that because I have got long arms. I'm not sure if everyone could. But uh, give it a go, see how you get on with it. Obviously the Prime Kit's a fantastic bit of kit if you do it normally, but I think it levels up in that, in that plane of movement. One failure set, that's all we're doing, make it count. So prime incline is second exercise. Now this is the main event of today, so to speak. So what I mean by this is this is the one press that I'm pushing the top set really, really hard. You'll see what I mean when we move on to the next exercise and why that's different. So one more leading set, one working set, that's it. All in to progress. Now granted, this is only week three of sort of getting into this session format so you know i'm expecting to progress uh this week but never complacent but yeah this is like the main movement obviously a movement i'm familiar with it's nice and safe for me and i can uh yeah look at getting strong at and uh and hopefully you know the whole point of the next months however long this goes on for i don't really have a long-term, medium-term plan, but become the strongest on some of these movements I've ever been. Simple, gives me direction, gives me focus every session, gives me focus every week. You know, the body weight, body composition, nutrition, it sort of will fall where it will. The nutrition will be tapered to progress lifts without getting silly heavy in any way. I don't want to get heavy, I've said that before. Um, but you know, this is still bodybuilding mentality. It's not something I can shake off just like that. It's also something I want to shake off just like that because I fucking love it. So let's keep getting into it.
Yeah. Yes. Oh. So, don't panic, it's only a bit of flat bench. Um, so with this transition in training, one thing that I wanted to do was return to movements I've not done for a long time, introduce movements that I, I, I look forward to and I think are quite fun because now I'm not a competitive bodybuilder. I can afford to put or at least tone down the optimal side of my brain. So, you know, is the barbell bench the best chest exercise? There is, no, are there better machines in here? Probably. Have I got a bit bored of them? Yeah. So we hit one machine, barbell bench. Obviously I've not done it for a long time. I like the idea of having a big bench. Who the fuck doesn't? I'm in a position now where maybe that's something I could look towards. So that's part of the thought process there. Again, what underlies it at this point is fun and enjoyment. If I stop enjoying it or I hurt myself, it'll be out. But what I'm doing at the minute on this, it's building up to a comfortable weight, going three sets of six. So basically just accruing a bit of volume on here to get the movement pattern more locked in. Still create an element of fatigue and adaptation, but no failure sets. That would be stupid and dangerous and unnecessary. So this is where, obviously there I went for that set. We hit failure, nothing more I could have give. On this, the last rep may slow down but that's about as much as we'll get in terms of like being close to failure. So the aim is to add a little bit of weight to this every single week, keeping the three, to three sets of six and just build up until I actually start hitting closer to failure, by which point I should have acclimatized to the movement, acclimatized my joints to everything and be in a position to push a little bit harder. So enough talk, more action, let's go. That's the excitement it's getting, guys. Three sets, set one, six reps, 105 kilos. Slow and steady wins the race. I'll see you at six plates a side. So coming at you with more old school classics, the dumbbell fly. Again, a movement I've not done in a long time. My reasoning behind why I want to do it, just strengthen my, my kind of tendons and muscles in that kind of real stretch position where on a, on a dumbbell fly, that's where all the load is. Now, lately there has been more and more research suggesting that in that length of position, there is a great potential for growth. I'll be honest, I'm less focused on that and more thinking about strengthening my body as a whole to prevent injuries and just to kind of, yeah, be more unbreakable for life. So yeah, three sets here, slightly higher volume and just again, progressing slowly, a new movement, nothing crazy. Um, and I quite enjoy it because it's different. So that's the chest portion done. So four exercises, pec deck, Get the squeeze, get the contraction, warm the chest up. Incline, 
uh, prime, heavy working set, in and out, intensity, building up my, uh, my flat bench then next, and then onto the low incline dumbbell flies, <clears throat> doing two tricep exercises now, both fairly compound, close grip press first, uh, cable skull crush second, and then finish in with some seated dumbbell laterals. That's all I'm doing for shoulders in this session. Uh, my other push session is slightly more shoulder dominant, so yeah, like I said, just the seven exercises, no back off sets, high intensity, keep it rolling. You know, this is these sessions are probably at least 30 minutes shorter than in my last setup, but that's good. You know, recovery is still recovering post prep, and uh, it just allows me to really dial in mentally, enjoy them, focus and then get out and, and relax, which I'm enjoying. So the key word today is enjoyment. Oosh. So, close grip pressed, one working set there for failure, onto cable skull crushes. Probably, I would say, my favorite tricep exercise. If you haven't done them, try them. Yes, a little bit of setup required, but very, very worth it. Again, one working set, which is coming up now, all out for failure. So, effectively, two failure sets on triceps done. And then we finish off with some delts one exercise and what I forgot is after that I do still do a bit of calves I'm not giving up on them completely but they're at the end of the session now so less priority but still getting them done so on these dumbbell latch raises where is the rest of the session in terms of kind of reps has been between the like 8 to 12 really I'm keeping the volume high on these I've said it from the start from you know all all the way back when I started doing these videos for shoulders and delts, side delts, I like higher volume, slightly greater connection and focus there. So building up, doing sets of 20, till I can't do 20, then I do a single drop set. So it works out, I do maybe like four sets and a drop set. Um, and yeah, but for me, I feel it was all I need at this point for my shoulders. Really feel them working in, out, high volume, nice and condensed finish the upper body part of the session, do three sets of calves, and then, because uh, Sam's here, I might do a little bit of posing and see where I'm at, two weeks post-show. Right guys, so session done, push session. That's very much how the sessions are looking now. Lower volume, still keeping the intensity, bringing some exercises in that are new, sticking with some old favorites. And uh, yeah, focus is very much on getting stronger and really enjoying training. Um, so far I can certainly say I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Um, you know, I'm a while away from being strong uh, or certainly kind of the strongest I've been, but we're working there. That's the goal, while staying in good nick, while getting fitter, while feeling great, while eating well, and just generally living a much more maintainable and consistent bodybuilding lifestyle. So yeah, so far so good. Um, obviously, beginning of the session there, I went through how the training format looks at the minute. That will continue for the time being. I'll keep you updated with any changes. Uh, but for now, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you very much.